Hey, what's up? This is Fee Sanity again from the Cispros channel, playing Captain Subasa Dream Team. And in this video, I want to respond to a question that was asked on Facebook by someone, uh, which I find, uh, which is which is a very good question actually. And his question was, um, how do we know what players are available in these SSR? Ticket transfers. Now, here's the answer. Actually, the, the the players that are available in this SSR ticket transfer are the players that are shown right here, and I'll show you right now. Do you see this uh, beginners pack right here? Now, when you click on this one, this um, excellent value SSR player match ready pack. This pack, click on the product details here. This is now, this is what is available for the SSR ticket. Right here, it shows which players are available. So there are 91 players, 100%. So the, this is a list of what the players are, are, which players are available for the SSR ticket, even for the free one. Okay. This is the list and the percentage. Now, as you scroll down, you even see the some of the Dream Collection players that were available before. Yeah. Now, the newest players that are available in the SSR ticket is right here. So it's up to Galvin, Herman, Herman Kaus, and Stefan Levin. Yeah, so not too uh, new, actually. Quite old, as a matter of fact. So be careful when when to do these SSR tickets, okay? These free tickets. Now, in Japanese version, it's a little bit different. Let me show you right now. Now, Japanese version, the players that are available in the SSR ticket pool is a lot newer. I think it's because the game has yeah, has been out for a, a half year longer than global version, so that's why the player of the players that are available are a lot are actually more. Let's check it out right here. See, there are 110, uh, 101. On, on on Japanese version, whereas in global it's what 91, right? Yeah, it was 91 right here, right? Let me confirm. Yeah, 91. So 10. We have 10 more in Japanese version. So let's scroll all the way down and see which players are available. And of course, the percentage is different because there are more players. Now, now, in Japanese version, we even have the recent uh, RJ7 debut transfer or whatever you call that, pickup transfer. We have the Hino Ryoma, Urabe, and this guy here, uh, I forgot his name. Yeah, and then we also have but some of these, uh, the Mexican players from the Dream Collection. So there are more players in this pool, in the Japanese pool, than the global pool. Well, this is just some information that some people might not know. So I just wanted to make a video about it. And I have a lot of SSR tickets, which I haven't done yet in the Japanese version, but I'm waiting for the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for more players to be available to do it. I want to get that um, Pierre, that red Pierre, the toughness type Pierre from that non-European, a uh, non-Japanese player transfer. So in, so I will wait until those players are available and then like the Japan only transfer is available, then I'll do it. So right now I'm saving these SSR tickets. So those of you that watch watching this video, use your SSR ticket uh, carefully, okay? If 
if those players that are available in the pool are not what you're looking for so maybe save it for later until when more players are available in the SSR player pool then do the SSR ticket transfer okay so this is just my little tip hope it helps you and please subscribe to the channel if you've ever done so hit the notification bell and share the videos and support this channel by checking out those uh, affiliate links in the description below and also if you're very generous feel free to send a donation that would be awesome it will be uh, help me motivate get, motivate me to continue to do these videos and live streams and last but not least thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye